Hi Aries, welcome to your divination dose. I'm going to get a head start and I'm just going to use uh, the oracle scrolls, so just a lighter background here, and we'll utilize these to start your scry and ignite a meditative state. So Aries, when you'd like, close the eyes, release the race and the rush. We're here for Aries, igniting a meditative state to receive receive and receive symbolic support for Aries. All right. When you're ready, Aries, I will add on. Oh my goodness. No, it's not the same one. <laughs> Does my, oh, sorry. If you'd like to see them, you can take a snapshot. I'll do your monthly personalized Rorschach uh, for October soon. But in the meantime, we can just enjoy divination okay we're here for Aries I'm gonna get in if you don't mind let's go uh, Monday something about Mondays uh, what is that I don't uh, they come around like every I don't know if it's 13 or 17 years those bugs I want to say like sequoias or something but I really don't think that's the name like they only come out every so often of the ground oh my goodness mm, anyway uh, so that's coming up if you know perhaps comment below what that what that bug is I think it flies and they're like big. Anyway, okay. Hmm. Okay, so there's some sort of... So from that insect thing, it's not sequoias. Oh, anyway. So they only come up every so often, right? So Monday isn't the seventh day of the week. Um but whatever it is like and I don't even know why that's coming up I don't know why that matters but there's something about this it, every so often something comes to the surface there's an anvil Aries there's an anvil oh, okay this is like a totem I'm seeing every day of the week, no matter what you do or have to do in your day, your responsibilities, obligations, your personal pursuits, professional pursuits, all encompassing, I'm seeing the days of the week stack like a totem. And yeah, they're just a totem. Almost like an art piece of your awareness reflecting. Something about whipping yourself into shape. I'd like to turn this one if I don't mind. Whipping yourself into shape. Okay. Mm, so two things I'm seeing over here, like that was a quick transition is uh, a cockroach and or a scorpion. If it's a cockroach, it's been stepped on. It's been squished. When I wander through the scorpion, it's highly protective like it's standing, I don't know if they actually stand, but, or like I, I feel like maybe in, you know, the real world, like their tails do something. But I see this guy or scorpion, like lean back on the tail so it can stand up. Almost take a different stance than a typical scorpion. So maybe that symbol has value to somebody. Ooh, where do I want to go for Aries? I'm going to flip this one because it was a quick, quick transition, but just in case, just in case. Okay, it definitely wanders me 
back to more towards the scorpion uh, like you're ready and willing to it's the tail so it's funny like here I'm seeing the scorpion standing up but here it's now that I flipped it I'm seeing the scorpion leaning back and there's there's a fly in here uh, farm life there's two tails. And you're like, tss, tss. <laughs> it's really an interesting skill. Skill. It's an interesting skill. Like the scorpion doesn't act typically in a predictable way. Why? It's because something has been squished. The cockroach has been squished. Whatever that cockroach is to you or could represent. Be it, I would imagine it's old or uh, been with you through like age, ages. Aries. I'm just going to flip that while I'm gazing. I don't think I flipped this one either. Fly, please, please. Aries, Aries. Oh, this cockroach thing was not pleased when you smushed it. Whether it's internal, external, internal projection, outward, yada, 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 yada. You might have even had to like snub, appear snubby. Please. But I feel like this was a, a even a part of you that you just had to like smush to free. Something in the shoulders, hands on the hips, like you're like, enough is enough. I'm going to sneeze. This little fly is very curious, and he's not even afraid of me. No, not that he should be. So at some point in time, as that cockroach feel, the lost compass, you smushed it by getting it to get back to your integrity. Okay, this is some sort of emotional discipline. Wacha. But this wacha <laughs> isn't about leaving a mark. It's wacha. Right? I don't know. I don't I'm sure I'm not saying that any more any better. And then gathering around the power of community. Okay, so what's on the bottom here? I'm loving this, Aries. So I'm loving this feeling that by squishing the cockroach to get back to get back to your point of some sort, something about time, right? We, we talked about the cockroach and being very old or ageless, etc. Got you back. And you did this through some sort of emotional or energetic discipline. Okay, not the same thing. I want to say like on some Monday, whenever the season of these insects are, 13, 17 years, was part of this cockroachic cycle, you actually decided to go a very disciplined, like go deep so that you were empty, not damaged empty on purpose to go through your bricks of being. So I'm seeing the empty well and there's a compass at the bottom of this well. So it's like you emptied, you squished the cockroach and there's a little scorpion guardian down there who does things differently than a regular scorpion because it's protective. And as you're coming back up the well, replenishing. So it's like I can see somebody on what uh, looks like a window washer thing if they're on a high rise. But in this case, it's going down into, a, into your wellness. And you're taking a look at all the bricks and getting help to refinish and uh, re whatever whatever it is that you feel the need but you have help like see all those little creaturey things in there yeah 
So then when you get back up to the top and like put your lid on this wellness, it's, I can see like I, like it makes all these little fun sounds because it's filled, it's filled. This is no small feat, Arians, but at the same time, the deed needed to be done. The deed needed to be done. Something about this cycle of, I really wish I could remember that bug, and I will note it in the comment if I can remember, or feel free to as well. Comment, like, share, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. You have a lot of help. You have a lot of help, helpers. And I also see a hand um, to, to welcome helping hands from those that may understand or they don't have to do it the same way, uh, but there's an integrity alignment, right? There's an integrity alignment. Like I'm seeing a, like you might have different like fairy helpers or actual people that can inspire you to help you, you know, fix the inside of the well or do whatever you're doing. But then, you know, a locksmith who can help your compass become the well cover that does all that fun stuff. And then you might have like a portal pool boy that comes in and you know, helps you maintain a frequency of the water. So when you open up this well, um, you can you can look down and always see the purity at the point of the bottom that is protected. All right, Arians, this is what I have for you today. And until next month when I do your, you know, personalized Rorschach, uh, we'll do some in-between divinations and I'm going to help this fly remove itself from my space. All right, thank you.